What's up guys, it's me Lukuri here, welcome to a new video, and yeah, I want to say firstly, thanks to over 10,000 views on my latest tutorial video, I appreciate it, and yeah, so let's get started with a new video on how to install custom skins in patch 9.14. And yeah, so let's get started. Remove the old skin tool, mod skin lol, by deleting this path. Repair your League of Legends with Hextech tool to avoid any bans with that program. Downloading and install the new tool. Go to this link and download LoyCustomSkin.zip. After downloading it, you should need to extract into your favorite folder with one of these tools. 7-Zip or WinRAW. Now locate your Loy custom skin folder, the path you extracted the zip file. Open the execute table LoyCustomSkin.exe. It will open a console. It will say this, waiting for a leak to start. Start a random custom game so the program can find linkoflegends.exe Sometimes you need to press enter. Exit a leak game and let the other program open. Download and extract custom skins for usage. Go to this link and download LoyCustomSkinTools.zip After downloading it, you need to extract it into your favorite folder.
if we have a what.client file, we should go to the new tool we downloaded named whatextract.exe and open it. Download now my hash table and put it into the console and press enter and wait for done. Now exit the program. Now download your favorite skin on Vox Skins. Now drag your what.client file into whatextract.exe. The program will extract your file with path and names. For the path you should find in your skin these folders, assets, data or levels. If you find for example assets and data then you should use both of them. If we have a Vuxi file, we shall drag the Vuxi file to the new tool we downloaded named vuxiextract.exe. Insert custom skin. We install now the skin with the raw files system. It means only that Leak will load all raw files in the mod path. We don't need any more what.client to load custom skins. Go to this Leak path. Write games League of Legends game. Now create a folder in it named mod. In this folder you can put your assets, data and levels folders of your skins and you're able to install multiple skins. You're not able to load bin files with the wrong method so you need to load also a what.client file. Install what files. We want to load now map11.bin to load VGO file format so we need to find this File found in here. Write games, League of Legends, game, data, final, maps, shipping, map 11watclient The VGO file format loads the second version of map format. Write uses now on Summoner's Rift map the map GEO format, the third format for mostly all new maps. Extract map 11watclient with whatextract.exe.
After that, replace the map11.bin file located here, data maps shipping map11, with my version of it. Now we make the WAD file by using wadmake.exe. Simply drag the folder before it sets data levels to wadmake.exe. Now a wad.client file will be generated. It should be the same name, so map11.wad.client is the name that we want. Now we go to this link path, write games, League of Legends, game mod data and create the same right structure path final then maps shipping and put your what file in it and now we are done Finally we are done and we can start League of Legends and we can test now the map and the custom skin for Callista. I hope you enjoyed the video, comment, like and subscribe if you want more of it, raise your killer instinct, you're the killer ray, peace out. Ooh. So, nochmal eine kleine deutsche Sache, und zwar kommt gleich noch ein kleines äh, Video von Gewitter im Kopf. Ein Livestream, ja, und die haben mich auf jeden Fall gegrüßt und Grüße gehen auf jeden Fall zurück und ja, ich hoffe euch geht's gut. Pubbers! Peace out. Steht auch von The Killary. Danke für eure Motivation, hätte, hätte ohne euch keine Motivation für Videos zu machen. Grüße gehen raus aus Niedersachsen. Ja, das Danke. freut uns auf jeden Fall sehr, dass wir dich motivieren konnten und viel Glück mit deinem Kanal. Ebo, la, 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 la.